So 165 pounds as well as 133 pounds heading into this tournament were looked at as the deepest weight classes. At 133, it ended up being a couple of top seeds who ended up facing off in the finals. Granted, Mucic ended up getting knocked off. Uh, but also he had some injuries moving in. Um, but at 165, Alex Marinelli in the number one seed ended up getting knocked off not once but twice. Um, both to Makai Lewis, who was a finalist, and then also to Chance Marsteller in the um, consolations. But fortunately for Marinelli, that was after he had already locked up all American status. So Marinelli ended up finishing seventh. But in the finals, um, this was looked at as a real big opportunity for Vincenzo Joseph to win his third straight title. Uh, pulled off a couple upsets over Isaiah Martinez in previous years, but this year uh, that wasn't the case. Nothing happened in the first period, but in the second period, uh, as he was trying to get up from bottom, ends up getting cradled by Makai Lewis. And this ends up being big problems for him. So this is going to end up cradling him towards the edge. Um, Fortunately for Vincenzo, his shoulder is kind of on top of the chest of Makai Lewis. So he never ends up getting pinned here. But the four points they gave up was a huge problem because he's dealing with a guy, Makai Lewis, who's a freestyle world champion at under 23. So to be in a position where you have to take this guy down multiple times in order to at least tie it up. Uh, that's just not not a position you want to be in. And unfortunately for Vincenzo, it just didn't work out for him. So not only does he give up the four points here, uh, but when he was trying to get some takedowns later, he ended up getting taken down again himself. So ends up losing this match by a score of 7-1. to one. Makai Lewis is a national champion now in his freshman year. So to go through the bracket, um, obviously Marinelli had to face Joe Smith in the first round and ended up going down 4-1 early, but came back. Uh, then got a win over Bullard by major decision. Uh, but then the quarterfinals is where Marinelli fell to Lewis. He was The match was tied 1-1, one to one, but Lewis gets a late walk-off takedown at the end of the third period. Um, so he went 3-1. Evan Wick with a quick pin over Chance Marsteller, who ends up wrestling back to third. Josh Shields with a six win over Bryce Stiart. And then Vincenzo Joseph, a 3 1 win over Isaiah White. And then in the semifinals, Lewis wins 5 2 over Evan Wick. And then Vincenzo Joseph beats Shields 3 2. And in the finals, as we just showed you, um, Lewis won 7 1. So the place winners at 165 were Makai Lewis at number one, Vincenzo Joseph number two, Chance Marsteller number three, Evan Wick number four, Isaiah White number five, Josh Shields number six, Alex Marinelli number seven and Bryce Steyer at number eight. Uh, so now I'll go to 174. I'll go through the brackets at 174 first, and then do and then show some of the highlights from the Hall Valencia match. Um, going into this, I picked Daniel Lewis to actually get the win because Lewis had pinned Valencia earlier. I thought L- Valencia was looking pretty rough this season. It, it was kind of funny that in my previews, I mentioned that Valencia was sort of like the 174 version of Spencer Lee, where it's a defending national champion who just hasn't looked that great all season. Uh, and in the end, both Valencia and Lee end up winning national titles this year, so... They got it back together just in time for uh, the NCAA tournament and ended up pulling off the wins. Um, but for Mark Hall, he beats Taylor Luan 5-3 to three in the quarterfinals. Uh, Miles Amin over Jordan Cutler by a score of 4-2. to two. Zahid Valencia 11-4, although well, he, he was up 11-4 and he got a pin over Harvey. And then Daniel Lewis got a pin over um, Mikey Labriola. In the semifinals, Mark Hall won 2-1 over Amin instead of 3-2 to two like they normally go. And then Zahid Valencia got a major decision over Daniel Lewis 11-3. to three. Lewis chose top instead of choosing bottom and ended up riding pretty well on Zahid. Um, did pretty well in the second period, but in the first and the third, he was just getting work from standing, and Zahid just got takedown after takedown and ended up getting the major decision here. Uh, but then Valencia wins 4-3 to three over Hall. So to go back to that match right there, so we should be looking at around 204. That's wonderful. Not good. We're going to start with a takedown that Mark Hall ends up getting on Zahid Valencia. That was pretty early. That wasn't quite there, but we should be able to get around to that pretty soon. And it's rough for Valencia, too, because you don't you don't want to get taken down by Mark Hall really at any point, but especially not early on in the match when Hall's going to have a lot of time because it means you're going to have to be shooting and Shooting on Hall is not an easy thing to do. Hall is very good defensively and he's very good at counter shots. So he gets the initial shot in here. Um, but doesn't really advance a whole ton. So he kind of has this grip here. Um, doesn't really get much control or isn't really able to control the far leg. And eventually Hall is going to get the cross face here, push away, get his leg free, and get his takedown. So 2 nothing Hall. Moving on, I'll then show the Valencia takedown. The Valencia takedown was a little bit more controversial. Uh, Kale threw in the brick on it, uh, but even with the review, it, it didn't end up making a difference. And Zahid was granted the points for it, so this is the end of that sequence. Let's get a little bit earlier on. So here he's on, in on the leg. 
hold the side instead of just letting him be shot, at, letting himself be shot out of bounds, and you keep fighting. So he's got Zahid's right leg wrapped up here. Zahid's got both legs wrapped up. Comes through. And they're gonna give him the two points here, even though Hall still has a has control of the leg. So two point takedown here, three three to three. And then there's the challenge break being dropped down by Kale Sanderson. So the way this match ends up working out is it goes two nothing Hall, then two to one after Valencia gets away, three to one Hall after Hall gets away at the start of the second, uh, three three here, and then Valencia is eventually going to be able to get away um, to make it four to three. So Valencia was able to hold him down for the rest of this period. Then I'll move back to 184. This was a pick that I made, and I actually made it correctly, and I'll link that video at the end here. But I actually correctly picked Drew Foster to win. I thought he was going to beat Miles Martin in the finals. He ends up beating Max Dean, who upset Miles Martin in the semis. Um, but Foster ends up beating Dean by a score of 6-4. to four. So I'll start around the first takedown. That's just highlight of the previous match. This could be a little bit easier to scroll through. They don't do a great job with it on ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app, I have to say. Uh, but here he gets it on the ankles and gets his takedown. So it was 2-0 two, two Foster. Uh, Dean ends up getting a takedown back. Um, there was a weird moment in the second period where Foster had Dean on his back in a bit of a cradle, or at least a, in a tilt. Uh, he had his foot inbounds, but they blew the whistle right as they went out towards the um, out towards the edge of the circle. So even though Foster was still in, he doesn't get any points for that. So that was a moment that really could have cost Foster had he not been able to win this in spite of it. But fortunately for him, he does that. And fortunately for the rep, this isn't something that we're looking back on, but there were more egregious no calls, and especially with the headgear grab at 133. So, with that being the case, Foster is still able to get the win here. So, let's see if we can get that final takedown in. Yeah, so here we are. So, he's it, it's essentially a tie score. It says he's down 4-3, but he has the riding time, so it's effectively 4-4. Four to four. Now, when he grabs a hold of one leg, just reaches out, catches the heel... Gets his double leg and he's able to ride out from here. So it's 5 4 plus the ride out. So 6 4. Drew Foster, national champion for you and I. So I'll go through the bracket really quick on that. And that'll be it for this video. And then I'll do one more video with 97 and 285. But I already got videos with 25 and 33. And then I have another video that is 41, 49, 57. I won't be able to link to all of them just because I have to only get like three links that I can add in. But I'll link to as many as I can. Uh, but starting from the quarterfinals, Miles Martin beat Ryan Price 11 to 2. Max Dean 6 0 over Bonacorsi, who somewhat surprisingly didn't end up uh, getting on the All American stand here. Drew Foster over Zach Zavatsky. And Sammy Colbray falling to Chip Ness, who had previously beaten Shakur Rashid. In the semifinals, Max Dean was down 4 to 3, gets a late takedown, wins 5 to 4 over Miles Martin. Foster 7 to 4 over Ness. And then the finals, as we just showed you, um, 6 to 4 for, Dean over, or for Foster over Dean. So the final. Um, top eight here was Drew Foster, number one, Max D, number two, Miles Martin, three, Ryan Price, four, Emery Parker, five, Chip Ness, six, Dakota Gear, who is number 26 heading into this. Um, although part of that was because of inactivity with Oklahoma State. Um, but he finished seventh. And then Zach Savatsky, who was a number three seed, ends up finishing eighth. So pretty good tournament out of these guys. Unfortunately for me, I did put some bets down on the national championships, but with, B with Bet DSI for whatever reason, they only had Drew Foster to place, not to win. And I didn't feel like putting any money down on him to place. I just wanted the money on him to win. So I probably could have gotten some really good odds with him as a six seed. But fortunately for me, that wasn't an option. So I didn't make any money off of Drew Foster. But had a couple other bets that worked out for me. Unfortunately, the uh, 133 match ended up costing me some good money. And then 65 also cost me. I had Vincenzo Joseph winning that bracket. But unfortunately, Lewis won. Though I did have money on Lewis to place, which was somehow at plus odds, even though he was the number eight seed. So... At least had that going for me.